All right, hello, hello. I am live in Avio's journey. It is 1 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, what day is today? March 5th? Yes, it is Thursday, March 5th. And welcome to today's video on how you can make money online by just reading books no matter where you live. That is the key. Uh, if you are new to this channel, we talk uh, all the time about how you can make money uh, being a voice actor and learning this craft. But today, I want to talk about something that uh, can help whether you are inside the U.S., but it also is going to help for people that are not in the U.S. Because let's face it, um, the... The Audiobook Creation Exchange, or ACX, like we're going to talk about today, uh, is, you know, just for a select few people that are in the U.S. and the U.K., etc., which I'll go over in a second. And it's difficult to actually, uh, you know, do audiobook work if you are outside of the U.S. So we're going to dive into that. So bear with me. We're going to kind of take a step back and explain all of this. Uh, maybe if you're brand new or, or trying to make some extra money, I think right now there's not a better opportunity. So we are talking about how you can make audiobooks, okay, and you can do it from home. So what is an audiobook? Well, simply put, an audiobook is a book that a pu an author publishes and they want to turn into a um, spoken version so that you can listen to that book instead of reading it. So the world loves audiobooks. It is the probably fastest growing segment uh, in voiceover, let alone in any industry when it comes to the voice industry. It is just on a high trajectory and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. So this is an amazing opportunity. And the the entry level to get started in this is very low. Um, so let's let's go a little bit further into how you can actually make money from this. So basically, like I said, a publisher or an author has a book and they publish it and they want to then take that book, turn it into audio. Well, the thing is, is that to do that, you've got to find someone to narrate it. Now, maybe you're an author and you want to narrate your book. Maybe you are a uh, someone who is just trying to get into making some extra money online from home, and that's what you're doing. Or like most of us who watch this channel too, you're a voice actor who is trying to figure out new ways, new sites to find work, because some sites are very packed, <laughs> and it's it is nice to find some new sites who are doing some different things to give us some different options on how to make some money. So with all that being said, uh, let's go ahead and dive into what do you actually need to make money uh, reading books out loud, creating audiobooks. So I've seen a lot of videos online, and I want to be serious with everybody for a second uh, as we go further into this. I've gone and searched for a lot of videos, and I always get a lot of questions about this very topic. Hey, Anthony, I want to narrate audiobooks, or I narrate audiobooks, or I would like to, but I live outside the U.S. I live in Asia. I live in, in different parts of the country, in Europe. I live in Australia, you know, and and there's no place for me to narrate. You know, how can I do that? Or, Anthony, I saw a video about, you know, you being able to narrate or working from home, but I can't, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to do. It seems so easy on that video. Well, I did my own research and I went around YouTube and I looked and I searched and I searched and I spent hours just looking at videos from people coming on and saying you could make money reading at home. <laughs> no matter, you know, uh, now none of them says no matter where you live. That's what I'm going to be doing today because I, I noticed that the majority of the people that I see um, also are from other countries. And I have many people that I work with voice actors who are from other countries. They are always trying to, you know, they get um, they're frustrated and rightly so because ACX doesn't work for them. Um, and uh, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. But the point is, is that a lot of those videos 
are good, but they don't really address the real things that you have to go through in order to make money through doing audiobooks. Okay, they kind of throw a lot of fluff out there to you, and then the video is over. So, my hope is today is I'm not going to dive into necessarily how to do each piece, I'm just going to kind of go through what you need to get started. And I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a series here of videos diving into each section. And and then, you know, give you some resources on how you can get better at it, as well as sites and things that you can go to to start making some money. But I do want to point out right up front, uh, because I'm not that person, and by the title, it's true, but you notice I didn't put make money in the first month, you know, make money, you know, because that's just not true. You know, you're not going to be, I mean, yes, you know, you could make a few bucks maybe, but you're not going to be making hundreds or thousands of dollars the first month you try this. It takes time. And if you do make it the first month, that's wonderful. You are among the very few. OK, so but this is lucrative and you can make money uh, down the road in the long term. You can make residual passive income from this as well as good amount of money up front. But it, just like anything else worthwhile, it takes time. So real quick, if you're starting out and you want to make money reading books online from home, you need a couple of things to start. OK, you can. I'm going to give you three different options here. The first option and, you know, some people watching this, depending on what varying level you might be, you might cringe or you might jump up and shout yay. But you can use your cell phone. OK, you can use your cell phone. However, I'm going to put a caveat with that. Make sure you use if you're going to use your cell phone, at least spring for, you know, a mic that connects to your cell phone. OK. So at least you get a better quality sound. I was watching a commercial the other day where they were showing um, just brand new YouTube, um, their uh, Bluetooth microphones connecting just so you can record video and audio from, you know, you're just like it, it like a lapel. It, it attaches here and it records right on your phone. It's wonderful. So there's definitely a lot of options. This is probably the first option. I don't recommend this option, but it is an option. And I also am an audio engineer and I engineer a lot of books from people who are recording straight from their cell phone. Because and and you know, let's be honest, people are traveling around the world too. I've also worked with voice actors who travel travel all around the world and you know sometimes they only have a cell phone with them or they they're very portable so you know that is an option and I do think microphones will continue to be upgraded through the cell phone but I just beg you to not just blatantly record without some sort of microphone attached to it you can find some cheap options on um, you know any any anywhere online but at least try to get one. Okay, that's the first option. The second option is to get a USB microphone, attach it to your computer. You need some software. There's some free software like Audacity. And there's some other things. If you have a Mac, you got Gar GarageBand is free on there as well. But you know, Audacity is really a wonderful platform to use. Uh, and then the other option would be for you to get a XLR microphone. That's either a dynamic microphone or condenser microphone, as well as an interface that plugs into your computer. And then you still need software to take the audio that you're recording and format it properly. Again, I'm going, I'm just going through the basics here so that you know what you need to get started. If you continue watching or check on other videos, I'll be publishing more on how you actually go about doing each one of these little segments. But let's move on to now. Let's say that you have, let's say you went out and you bought, you got a little microphone, right, for 20 or 30 bucks and you attach it to your phone. Okay. And you're like, okay, well, and I got Audacity, which is software that's free for you to download on the internet. Okay. And you can put your audio from your phone files. You can just share it with your computer and put it in Audacity. Okay. And you've done all that. But now you need a place to actually find work, though. OK, so the first place that we're going to talk about is ACX, the Audiobook uh, Creation Exchange. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come down here and uh, you can see I got my notes here that I was talking about. And you can kind of see my screen here. So I'm using OBS. This is ACX, the Audiobook uh, Creation Exchange. And this is the first site I'm going to talk about. This site 
as you can see right here, this site has a bunch of authors that come on here. They um, Amazon owns this or Audible owns this. OK. And of course, Amazon owns Audible. So basically what happens is, is that indie authors or publishers can come on here and they can put up a book to be uh, paired with a narrator. So basically what happens is, is you just come over here and you have all these titles, OK, that um, you can uh, audition for. Uh, now, there is different things here. I'm not going to dive into all the ins and outs of ACX, but this is a place that you can go to audition for audiobooks. However, here's the kicker. The kicker is, is that you can, you can only work on ACX if you live inside the United States, Canada, the UK, or Ireland. Right now, those are the only places that you can do that. All right. And that's a pain in the butt. <laughs> I mean, it's a pain in the butt for everybody else. So as I was searching around YouTube and watching videos and listening to comments, honestly, the most the, the biggest comment that I saw over and over again, which no one was answering, was what do I do if I live outside of those four places? Well, I found a place and I'm actually really blown away by this site. It's called Findaway Voices. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. But Findaway Voices is a place that doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can come on here as an audiobook narrator Put your services up on here. They will pair you up. They will promote you to the authors. And you have an opportunity to work uh, doing audiobooks from home, from anywhere in the world. You don't have to be there. Uh, you don't have to be just in those four places. And the cool thing is, is that I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm really blown away. I, I don't have enough time to do a review exactly on Findaway Voices, but I'm going to be in the future because I searched and searched and there's a bunch of different places that you can do. But Findaway Voices is really blowing my mind. It's an exciting place. It offers a lot of the same things and actually better royalty share, um, uh, royalty share things where, okay, so basically in audiobook land, you can be paid a couple of different ways. One, you can be paid by upfront per hour of your work. So if a book is five hours finished, meaning that when you're done, it's five hours of recorded audio, you can be paid per finished hour. Okay, so let's say you charge $250 times five, you're going to make what, $1,250? Okay, I think my math is right. Uh, and so that's that's one way of doing it. But you also can do a royalty share, meaning where you split the um, the money that the author makes from royalties of book sales. And this is a way to make passive income as well. And there's tactics and things on each one of them. Again, I'm not diving in too far because uh, I, I want to do actual real uh, a real good uh, review of this site as well. But what I really, again, the first thing, what I really love about this is that you can work anywhere in the world. It, they will uh, pay you and you, they will deposit it directly in your bank account through PayPal, all sorts of different places. Also, they have over 36 to 40 different places that they distribute their books, including Amazon, Apple, etc. And they actually have better deals with Apple on getting royalty share, uh, royalties from Apple than, than ACX does. I'm very impressed with this site, and there's a lot more ways to make money here uh, than just ACX. The biggest difference, though, I will say about Findaway Voices uh, than ACX, I think, is that with ACX or Amazon, you definitely get you can see when your book is live. You can find it. The only thing with Findaway Voices is because they do, they, they're like everywhere. I mean, they have actual deals with libraries where there's library distribution, which I think is really cool. Like libraries can purchase the audiobooks. You know, they have uh, different things with uh, uh, different deals with different people online and so forth. So, I mean, they distribute a lot of different places. It's really awesome. OK, how they do it, but you they, they don't show you there's no link for you to see when your books go live. OK, so that's a challenge here. But again, I'm going to do a big uh, a lot deeper dive into Findaway Voices. But that is a real viable way to work, uh, be an audiobook narrator and get paired with authors. 
Okay, if you are living outside of those four places I mentioned anywhere else in the world, and quite honestly, right now they are, I mean, everything I've seen and all the research I'm starting to do on them, they're really booming and doing well. They've only been around for a couple of years, but they're really rocking it out. And I'm, I'm excited myself to get on to this site and work, uh, work on it. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you uh, as well. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back here to my main screen. And the last thing I want to talk to you about real quick is uh, if you are not, of course, in those places, like we mentioned, Find Away Voices is an option, but also the other option is uh, that you can join a freelance site like Fiverr, like Upwork. And these sites, you can post your services like, you know, I will record an audio book for you for X amount of dollars and people who are looking for that service can find you and you guys can negotiate or decide what you want to do. Uh, but I will say that those options require you to, it's a lot more, uh, it can be more difficult to get people actually, you know, like linked up because, you know, there's a lot more there to deal with. People are not just looking for audiobooks. Plus, you have to be a lot better, I think, at the selling aspect as well as formatting and all these things. But needless to say, that is another option if you live outside of the United States or the UK or Canada or Ireland. It is another option for you to use Fiverr or Upwork as the third one. So we talked about three different things today. Well, I guess four because there's two, you know, Fiverr and Upwork. But we talked about uh, ACX, okay, which is owned by Audible, which Amazon owns. And there's three places that ACX publishes to, which is Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. But you can only be on those if you live inside the United States, UK, Ireland, Canada. There is Find Away Voices, which was the second option, which according to their site, you can be anywhere in the world. And basically they have their own um, like they have their own distribution channel on their site uh, where I mean, they have their own group of narrators and authors on their site and they link them up there and then they distribute on their own so they can distribute anywhere they want to, but they can take authors or narrators anywhere around the world. So that's find away voices. And then the third one was using a freelance site like Upwork, like Fiverr. There's, of course, other uh, freelance sites and pay to play sites, but for this particular one, those are probably the most well known. All right, again, this was just to wet your whistle about how you can be making money from home, all right, anywhere that you live reading books, it really is possible. And that's how I got started in this. I saw a video about someone saying you could read audiobooks from home. And I was like, oh, cool. And I went out and bought a $40 microphone from Best Buy. And I started uh, doing audiobooks. And of course, I've built up a business from then, uh, three years later. But that's how I got started. And hopefully this will help someone get started as well. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to take some questions or comments, anything that you guys have regarding what I just said. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'd love to, um, you know, see what's happening over here. By the way, we're not streaming on Instagram today just because I was showing a, a couple different things. So we're just be on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. But anyways, let's go ahead and pop over. We got Facebook. We got uh, Big Jim. What's up, my man? Donna on YouTube. John on YouTube. Donna also, by the way, enjoyed your lesson yesterday. Really great and informative. Caught it late, but enjoyed it. Thank you, Donna. I really appreciate that. Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Good to see you, my friend. Marcus, what's up? Samir, hello. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Score. Also, if you have an Android and you have a USB audio interface, you can buy what is called an OTG cable and connect that to your phone. I love that. I love that, and and um, I'm going to definitely, again, be doing more of these because there's a lot of people who want to get uh, into this industry, but they have no idea um, how to do it, especially in different countries. Uh, I have I work with uh, voiceover students, voice actors from different countries, and I have to tell you, especially like in Asia and different places, when I work with people from there, uh, I'm blown away by how difficult it is to in I mean to translate where what we have access to here and maybe in the United States is what I'm talking about as opposed to different parts of the world and you really have to 
you, you, you got to really switch your thinking about how you can do things because, you know, um, it's just different, right? It's different in different parts of the world. So um, thank you for mentioning that. And I will be doing more on those. Uh, let's see. Um, Score says I use a iRig pre XLR. You can connect it to your cell phone and computer in case you need to move. That's awesome, Score. That's really awesome. ACX sidebar. How have you navigated book summaries from a legal standpoint? Is the VO also liable if the royalty, if the rights holder gets sued? No, but you will lose. They will just take it down. So yes, there are definitely for summary books. Um, you have to make sure they are titled very specifically. They have to be titled very correctly, and you definitely need someone knowing what they're doing. And if you haven't noticed, because of all that legal crackdown, there's not been as many summary books out anymore, uh, just because it's been very difficult and a lot of people have been sued. So uh, when I was doing them, it started to happen, and there was one point where I had to go back. Actually, I've never talked about this. I had to go back and change all of the titles of all these books, you know, um, because all the audiobooks, so that they would not be taken down do you know what i mean it was very specific you know this is a summary of this book that was written by this person do you know what i mean like it's very specific and if you're not that they will sue you or, or ban you so as an audiobook narrator you just lose all that work that you've done and you get nothing for it so that's that sucks uh let's see Lana, oh my goodness, hi Toys, this sounds like my retirement dream. You should, it is absolutely wonderful and I know how much you love to read. So I think this would be wonderful for you uh, and I would love to help you. Give me a call or message me on Facebook, okay? I would love to talk to you about it. Um, still trying to get Rex into it. Jay says, thanks for the thanks for these, Andy. They really helpful. Awesome. CB, I'm anxious to hear about the investigation of Findaway Voices. I have gained zero traction there. I still focus on any CX. Awesome. Thank you, CB. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Ed, too new uh, to have questions on the subject, but enjoying all the content uh, voraciously. Uh, fi fi finishing my home studio this weekend. Nice. Alan says, one of the questions that I posted in the Audacity users Facebook group, is there an Audacity for mobile? No Audacity, but there are mobile DAW available for those without computers. Absolutely, well, I, depending on what phone you have, right? I mean, GarageBand, if you have an iPhone, GarageBand is probably a go-to one for a lot of people, because I work with a lot of actors who use an iPhone, or they use an iPad, and they like to use that. But there's also some other ones that are very good uh, DAWs as well. And I recommend you take a, you know, do a search for those on the App Store as well. Um, but thank you. That's yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. John says thanks for a brilliant session. Awesome. Did you say you were streaming using OBS? Yes, I am using OBS. Uh, Reforge is a great recording app for Androids and it's free. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your time today and I hope this helps and I will be doing more videos on Findaway Voices on trying to uh, find other options for people that aren't um, you know, living inside the US. And I will have to say um, uh, I'm very... So I will say I'm very sad about the conditions and everything with the coronavirus that's happening all around the world right now, of course. And my heart goes out to everybody who's suffering. Um, but I will say that it's also things, you know, a lot of people are coming and staying home. And if you haven't heard or you're not watching the news, I think there's going to be even a greater push for people to work from home and to try to make money from home, but also to want to listen and do more things at home. So I think this is also a time to think about some of those options as well for you, just as the whole world as a whole is trying to get through this time. OK, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe. Hit that. That notification bell if you like this make sure you share this like this on twitter retweet it and like it on facebook and if you have any other questions comments please make sure you leave it below but otherwise thank you guys so much have a wonderful thursday i will see you tomorrow for fiverr friday all right goodbye see you guys later